All right, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about my office. No, not that really big building with the really tall glass and the really cool sign. I'm talking about the office that I take around with me everywhere. Let me explain. So prior to getting in the business, I knew that I didn't want to do a nine to five, didn't want to be stuck in a cubicle. I just didn't want to be confined in a small space. That's why being a real estate agent to me sounded so appealing. But what I was finding out was that I would constantly go on appointments back to the office, go look at properties back to the office, go on another appointment, go back to the office. And all that time that I was spending in between was just a waste of time. So I quickly needed a solution to my problem because what I was finding was that I wasn't enough hours in the day to actually complete the things that I wanted to do and it was making me really inefficient. So over the years I started adding some tools to my toolbox to make me less dependent on going into the office. So that's why it was so important for me to create an office that I can take with me pretty much anywhere. Because if you think about it, within one transaction alone, we're dealing with the seller, the buyer, the other agents, the escrow company, the title company, the loan officer, the photographer, the videographer, you name it, the list goes on and on. And all of those people need to be communicated to on a consistent basis. Now, just imagine five, 10, 15, or 20 transactions at one given point. I need to be super efficient with my time in order for those people to be satisfied, for those transactions to be satisfied, and for those clients to be satisfied. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my office, my mobile one. What do you guys think? Yeah, I know, it's just a backpack. But the contents that are in this backpack pretty much allow me to do my job anywhere in the world, essentially. And I wanna thank my buddy John, who actually gave me this backpack on a recent trip to New York. Thank you so much, I love this thing. But let me go ahead and show you the contents that are in this backpack that has allowed me to pretty much save up so much more time to be so much more efficient and to be that much better at being a real estate agent. All right, so let's start with the most important. Don't mind that guy, it's just a curl. It's the one thing that I use every single day and it's my laptop. The products that I have, I'm pretty much an Apple guy. So yeah, it is what it is, right? But I have a Mac Pro 2016, 13 inch. At the time I upgraded the memory on it to a one terabyte so that I do a lot of video editing and photo editing. So I needed something that had a lot more memory than just the base models that they had at the store. And this has been really, really great. So I use this pretty much on an every single day basis. The case that I have for it was something that I really wanted. I wanted to make sure that it had not only a good durable case to it and that it looks great, but also had this pocket feature. This pocket feature is super important for me because I'm always carrying multiple things and I kind of wanted to limit the stuff. So this is great if I ever need to put a charger in here or if I need to put some other stuff in here, some business cards. And if I need it to be on the go and you know pretty much execute a contract or send out some documents, I can pretty much take this and not the entire backpack, which has been really good. All right, so the next thing I have in here is my iPad Pro. Now, the reason why I got an iPad Pro was because before I had this, I was finding that I was writing on notepads quite a bit. I would write on notepads, on paper, on pretty much anything to write notes on. And I don't have the best handwriting. I just don't. And it was just really inefficient. And so I got this and the pen so that I could pretty much have all my notes in one place. And the nice thing is too, is that there are programs in here that actually make my handwriting look better than it is. And it just takes my handwriting and just makes it smoother and so it's a little bit more legible. Uh, but this is great because I can pretty much charge this and I pretty much have a running notepad forever. It's also great because I take this on presentations. When I need to talk to home sellers or buyers, things that I need to bring with me or videos I need to show them or things that I need to show them, it's all on here. So I can pretty much download everything that I have, put it on this iPad and it's a great presentation. Also, it's great for showings. When I'm out showing properties, you know, we're showing like five, six, seven, eight properties at any given point in time. Having all that information in front of me is easy because if somebody says, hey, what's the size of this place or what's the tax information or when was this place built? I can pretty much have it right here and have an answer for them. If there's any notes that they have as well, feedback that they're giving me, I can write it down and just kind of keep notes of, of what they're thinking about. And the case that I got for this uh, also how allows for me to put some business cards in here. So this has been great. Now, uh, the other thing that's been really good is my phone, right? So my phone, but I have an iPhone, an iPad, and a MacBook, AirDrop. Airdrop in everything that I need to. If I take a photo from this, I can airdrop it to my computer, to my iPad, and it's been super great just because of that. But having the Apple products all throughout has been really seamless in terms of my workflow, and that's the reason why I have all of them. In my pockets, oh, I actually have um, AirPods. AirPods have been great too, so if I ever uh, working out or if I need to talk to a client in a busy place, uh, these have been great. They last a really long time. I, I don't know how long they last. I would just charge it once a day, maybe once every other day, and it's it's been just fine. All right, so the next thing that I have is 
my video video bag, my video bag. And so uh, I'm shooting on a DSLR right now. It's a big setup with a tripod. It just doesn't make sense for me to take this everywhere. And so I wanted something that was super mobile. And so that's why I got this pouch, but it contains my Osmo Pocket with the case. It shoots in 4K, 60, awesome. Also has a stand setup, which I can put a mic on and also attach it to. So this has been really good. And if you guys have any questions on any of the products that I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to pretty much everything down below so you can go and check it out. If I'm not shooting on my phone, which I can, right? This has been really good. If I ever need to do a quick video or I'm talking about a property and I want it to be super stabilized, this has been really great. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, but this has been really good and it's been really small and compact. That's what I really like about it. All right, the next thing I got in here is, ooh, this. This is a game changer. This is my, this is my cable pouch. Any cable that you can pretty much think of, I have, you know, USB-C, iPhone chargers, micro USB. I got different heads that I can charge on. I have an extra headphone case. So just in case I'm on an airplane and they don't take AirPods, but this has been really good. And having it in this really organized pouch has been really nice. I've got to say this thing right over here, I got these recently and I don't know what they're called. I'll go and put a link below, but They've been awesome, keeping everything super organized. And so I just really latch everything over and it's organized, I can find stuff. It's not super messy. And this pouch has been good to keep everything kind of all in one place. On the other side of the pouch, I have a memory card holder. Um, it's a Pelican. This is kind of where I keep my extra memory cards. The next thing I have is my laptop charger. All right, so this is an external hard drive. This external hard drive is uh, four terabyte. This has been really, really good. Uh, the reason why I selected this one in particular is because uh, I shoot a lot of video. And sometimes taking the card from the camera into my computer, downloading everything, that just takes a lot of time. And so the reason why I bought this was that it does have a slot for the SD card to go in. I put the slot in, I press the button, it downloads all of the information from the card without me having to connect it to my laptop, which has been awesome. You know, memory cards fail every so once in a while. Luckily for me, it hasn't failed. Knock on concrete. Whatever. I hear it all the time and I hate to go out there and shoot a bunch of video or some photos and not be there and have the file be all corrupted. So getting it transferred as soon as you shoot is, is very important. So this, this has been really good for me. Let's see what else I got in here. I've got my charger and all of us have one of these, but I wanted to get something that lasted a long time. And so this, I've never had to test it, but it will charge my iPhone up to 10 times, 10 times on this year. It has a micro USB cord but it also has two USB ports over here. And those are fast charging ports, which means they will charge my phone twice as fast than an electrical outlet at home. It comes in with this really nice case and I just have an iPhone uh, charger connected to it because it just makes life so much easier. Ooh, this basically runs the ship. It's a Verizon hotspot. I've had it for uh, three or four years now. It probably needs a new upgrade, but this has been great. And the reason I can pretty much do my work from anywhere and be connected to the internet is this guy right here. I can pretty much be on vacation. I can be out and about in the field. I can be anywhere and turn this bad boy on and get connected to the internet and quickly start working. So here's a pro tip. Now this is a Verizon hotspot. Now for some reason, if this one doesn't work, I have this set up on T-Mobile and I can use the hotspot off of here in case this one doesn't have signal. I never really run into a situation where both of these are out of service unless I'm like in the boonie somewhere but I can most oftentimes get internet service from one of these two so that I can pretty much have internet service anywhere, which has been really, really good. So that's a huge pro tip right there. I've got to say that's pretty much it. The bag in itself, uh, again, my buddy got it for me and I have to say it has all of the compartments in here that allow me to put all of the stuff in there super organized and it just makes everything so much simple. It has great cushion, great soft texture in the back. Um, this over here is super breathable, so even on a hot day, I can have it on me and not have to worry about getting too sweaty. It does have some uh, nice pockets over here in case you're traveling and you want to keep your most important stuff in here, your wallet or your passport or whatever. But overall, this has been a really good backpack for me, and I've got to say, this was a really cool gift. If you guys have any questions or want to check out any of the gear that I have, I'm going to go ahead and put a link below so you guys can check it out and see if you guys uh, want to buy it for yourself. But uh, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I've got a phone call coming in. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.